Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. We got a stone ale right here. This has a little bit of an age on it. This is their 16th anniversary ale. They're already up to their 17th anniversary now. Got some Bigfoot swag on. Got my Bigfoot Discovery Museum shirt on from Santa, Ro uh, Santa Cruz, California. That's pretty cool. They're up in Felton, California rather, I should say. But uh, Mike Rugg, shout out to you. Really cool stuff. Definitely support it. Because, hey, anything in science is, is good. I don't care. It's still science. People are finding things, seeing stuff. There you go. Might as well help them. Either help them prove it or help them disprove it. Either way. But anyway, this is their 16th anniversary. Ale brewed with lemon, verbena, and lemon oil. I don't really don't know what verbena is. No idea. 10% uh, alcohol, so it's a big boy. I need to go to bed anyway, I'm all fired up. August 2012, and it's October 2013 now. And let's see, it's an IPA. And that's all the information I need to know. Oh yeah. Let's see. Like standard ales in overdrive. Check the cap. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting a real big lemon kind of a quality coming up already. It's pretty refreshing. Actually, that's very refreshing. That lemon zest, lemon verbena, or whatever it is that's coming up. It's very uh, disinfectant kind of a um, refreshingness. Alright, there we go. A little darker than I thought it would be, but there you go. Lovely head. Nice, uh, ooh, it's kind of boring almost. Which wants to go to, the, to that amber quality, from that golden to the amber quality. Very, very citrusy, very, very lemony, very refreshingly citrusy. A little bit of carbonation coming up. Damn, damn, this smells tasty. Man, that, that lemon really just makes it, oh, man, it's really, really lemony. You're pulling through some of the dank pine hops. A little resinous on there. Definitely getting a little bit of a grapefruit. Almost a little bit of a, I don't want a sweet, like a sweet tangerine or sweet clementine. Kind of juicy. Definitely have a nice caramel backbone to this one. Even trace hints of vanilla. Cheers. Definitely pouring a little bit of vanilla on there, mixing with the caramel. What an ale. What an ale. This isn't like their ruination mixed up and done. No, this is something completely different. This is a steamingly good IPA. It's just got this huge malt base and it's blending. It's basically like an imperial IPA. It almost tastes like to a certain extent. I don't know if there's rye in this or not. Let's see. This year our brewing team was inspired by some Exotic-ish additions with lemon persuasion. Yes, it's a double IPA. Okay, it is a double IPA. You can really say you're surprised. But as we strive to do with all our stone anniversary ales of this, let's take this IPA with a new direction variety, we've brewed up stone's worthy divergence of, tran tr of tradition. The amount of rye malts, okay, there is rye malts in there, we used isn't quite enough to warrant it the appellation of rye IPA, but there's still an addition of hints of spiciness and a contrast deliciousness of tropical fruit flavors and aromas, Amarillo and Calypso hops, and new addition, it's really good, it is spicy, man. I think that's some of the fruit, that, that kind of rich, juicy kind of quality I'm getting out of this. That hint of vanilla, that rye is just, it's there, it's tasty. There is some spice notes, a little pepperiness going on. 
I was actually drinking this really thinking, this really reminds me of a Cain and Abel from Two Brothers. And I was just like, is there rye in this thing? There is. Oh, how about that? I'll tell you. I gave the Cain and Abel a 10 out of 10 because it's that good. This is that good. But it's not going to be made anymore, so it's not going to get a 10. I'll tell you what, this is good. I don't want to just to drink a little bit more and not just rate it and, and hit the camera and say, oh, bye, see you later. But that is well balanced. It's juicy, it's fruity. There's caramel and vanilla sweetness, spicy notes, pepperiness. If they would just make this every day, this is the only ale I'd ever drink. I don't know if the year has brought out more of that vanilla caramel mixture and died anything down, but this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is a double IPA, but it really drinks like a really big regular IPA. There is that little bit of dank resinous pine tones, but it does tell you it is a double IPA, but this is something that is just, it's not chuggable, but it's really enjoyable. And I think they did a very, very good job. This 16 is freaking fantastic. Wow. So I'm going to give this one a 9.5. It is great. I don't give things I can't get again, tens, obviously you won't be able to get this again because it's an anniversary ale. It's fantastic. Fantastic. This has been Paul from Fear Brew News. I'm going to enjoy this and, I don't know, maybe enjoy another one or go to bed. Cheers. Ah. I'll just post this bitch on the same review. Um, I was just thinking while I was drinking, and uh, it's pretty interesting. This uh, kind of caramel vanilla flavor I'm getting is really weird. Um, I know Jameson, I know, but uh, it's actually reminding me of my childhood. It reminds me of, well not childhood, but you know what I mean, it reminds me of this uh, pastry that was coming out. Oh, um, for a couple of years, probably one or two years, but there was a pastry going out, and it was a Ninja Turtle pastry. It was a turtle shell, you know, half the half shell, but it was filled with this like ooze green, ooze cream. It tastes like that. It's pretty interesting. It's really weird. I like this kind of, and I think that's one of one of the reasons why I kind of go for this uh, aged IPAs. They kick up the vanilla in them, and I just like them. I like the way they kind of twist and turn, and they, they turn up the vanilla, and they mix it with the caramels. I don't know how. It almost has a barrel-aged quality because of the vanilla that kind of kicks up in the in the caramel uh, malt base. And I don't really know if it's uh, vanilla that I'm really getting, but it reminds me of that. It kind of reminds me of the um, candies with the white center, the white kind of... Uh, I think it was a, basically a vanilla center, and with the the hard caramel around it, uh, it was toffee, toffee-ish caramel around it. But that was pretty cool. I still love the tail. Absolutely love it. I wish. I really wish uh, they would kind of pop it into some kind of general. I don't know how you say it. Uh, rotation because pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, it's 10, though. It, it's definitely a big boy. And I actually, after not eating anything all day, uh, all night, rather, I, I should say, and bothering e me about his cocks and there, all that stuff on YouTube now, uh, I can feel it. I can really do. I, this is it. That's the end of the bottle. And I can, after one bottle, I can feel it. It's pretty good. But I'll tell you what, it was absolutely enjoyable to drink. There, was what, there wasn't one moment where I thought, oh, this is too much, or this is a bit boozy, or this is... No. It was just completely enjoyable. Um, I was actually 
upstairs uh, enjoying some Diablo on my computer, which tells you how old I am. Because I still think that's like, like the best computer game ever because it's so up to date and good. <laughs> so I just think that's, I, we, we play Diablo all the time. I still remember when I thought Wolfenstein was the best thing ever when it came out on the computer. I was like, oh my god, this is, nothing, nothing will ever be better than this. So, that's how old I am. A lot of grays. You'll see some grays. The beard's coming back. I told my wife, I said, it's coming back, and she wants me to grow my beard out and not cut it anymore, ever, I guess. So, the beard's coming back. The beard will be making a comeback. You don't... Some of you guys have never seen the beard, obviously, because I cut it before I was doing PA Runes, so, yeah. But it's not going to be a beard, like a, a beer geek beard, like one of those trendy little beards. It's going to be a Jameson beard, you know what I mean? Hardcore, like that kind of thing. A Daniel Harper kind of a beard, if you know what I mean. Um, pretty good stuff. I started my Facebook page. I know this is stupid to say because... Everyone will know I made my Facebook page by the time I post this review. Because this review will be 10 months down the line, but that's how it is. Um, not too many beers, though. That's one thing I will have to say at this point in time. I am pretty... I know it looks like I have some beers, but we're getting pretty down there on the beers. So I'm going to be doing a couple beer trades, and I hope it will replenish my stock. Because I am broke and I'm getting low. I have enough money now and again to support a beer mail. I know it sounds sad, but that's the way it goes right now. Now here in back of the line, this is going to DJ, and this is going to DJ. We're going to share these bitches. Um, back here we have two different beer mails sitting here, one for with Kevin Clements and then one for Eric Bomey. So we have them sitting back there and I'm gonna try to get a little money together to add to them and throw some homebrews in there and gonna send those fuckers out. So I don't know if they're gonna like them. I mean it's just stuff I can get because where I live very rarely can you get a very I don't want to say this uh, well yeah consistently good fresh quality that's the PA standard like some other um, beer standards is they have a drink by this date um, they have a don't sell after this date that uh, that's what it seems like in my area don't sell until after it's way past due and no one else wants it then you can sell it that's just come kind of, you know I feel like shackled that's all I have that's that's what I can deal with um, I've actually been berated for having short reviews because I love long reviews and I tell everybody how I like long reviews. My problem is I just don't think you give a fuck about what I'm saying because half the time I don't know what to talk about and the other half the time if I do have something I want to talk about I just don't give I just don't think you guys give a shit so that's why I do short reviews. But um, this camera only does eight point. 11 seconds, 8, 11 seconds, 8 minutes, 11 seconds, so I, I kind of try to squeeze it into that time frame. Um, <clears throat> though, I'll I, I tell you what, though, Terry K is just really good. I mean, uh, Good Hour Radio Moscow is really good, too, uh, about telling you the history of the brewery, what they're doing, what why they're doing the, the ales they're doing, where they're located, what what brewing method they use, what this, what makes them stand out. I mean, that is amazing. They really, really do a well job about informing the people. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about when it comes to, well, this brewery, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Well, let's see, Rasputin. Old Rasputin, barrel aged, and it comes from, it's a product USA. It's a stout aged in bourbon bale, and it comes from North Coast Brewing Company. That's what I know, because that's what's printed on the label. I don't have reference material. I don't say, okay, this is the ale I'm going to do. Let's research the shit out of this ale before I do it. I just don't. I just go, nah, blah, blah, and I do my review. So, there you go. 
But I did, I did uh, one and two. Just check the time here, quick. Okay, 25 seconds. I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I don't mind doing long reviews, and I don't mind bitching and complaining and whining and just telling you stuff. So um, I'm actually going to make this one a little bit longer, and I'm going to ask you guys. Well, the question is, what would you like me to talk about? I, I just figure I'd do something kind of weird. I have 152 subscribers, which is over 150, which is fucking awesome. So thank you everyone for subscribing. Um, as I told you before, which some of the new subscribers might not know if they haven't watched certain reviews, I don't get um, notifications anymore. Uh, I think this might be a YouTube <coughs> epidemic where everybody kind of has this thing, but I don't know who subscribed, I don't know what's going on. Um, sometimes I check my actual channel and I go, shit, my subscribers went up. Who subscribed? Because I always like to say, you know, thank you. Personal, personal thank you. And I can't find the person that uh, subscribed because it says I have 152 subscribers and it'll show me 30. Well, 30's not 152, is it? Anyway, that's beside the point, just so you guys know. I'd like, just put down something stupid. Put down uh, the healthcare crisis in America. Or why Americans are so pompous. Or why French people love frogs. Why uh, English people have such great beer. I don't care. You know what it says. Um, I'll talk about it. Put down in the comments. I mean, I mean, it'll, I mean... Happy and and Eric will put down. Talk about how why you love cock. Why you just love 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 the cock. So let me just push that out there right now. Don't put that because I know they will. The cock, the cock, the cock, the cock, the cock, the cock. Until Stephen Bush sends me a big old cock in the mail, I will not talk about my love for cock. Won't do it. Not gonna happen. But after that, of course, I'll just get on my soapbox and talk about cock. Mmm, cock, 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 cock. Mm, tasty cock. Look at that head on that cock. But anyway, yeah, I thought it was kind of a weird, kind of uh, happy, kind of 150 subscribers. I, I thought I'd talk about that, where you guys can just put down some stupid stuff and. Or whatever. I mean, even intelligent stuff where, you know, past me. I will still research it and I will comment and I will talk about it. So, sounds like a lot of work on my part because I'm pretty stupid. Pretty much stupid. Well, Johnny Cantaloni from DJ's BrewTube has opened up Pandora's box. He really has. Because I had this faint thought of doing a brew review in a certain way and now I'm going to do a little special brew review coming this weekend and I'm going to, I'm going to send it to you it's Paul's Bare Naked Beer Review Paul's Bare Naked Beer Review thanks a lot Johnny everyone's it's, it, I might even stand up and give a little wiggle just to say hi but uh, the reason is, and I'll, I'll even tell you in the in the review, I might even post it pretty soon. I might post that before I post this, so don't be surprised if that's already up. But um, that's to you, Johnny. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> I'm going away for this weekend with the wife for our big uh, seven-year anniversary, and we're going to this place where that usually has some pretty nice craft beer. I don't know if they will at that point in time, but they usually do. So, if there's anything I haven't reviewed yet on the channel, I will definitely be doing a review of that. And uh, until then, guys, cheers. Thanks a lot.